What's going on guys? I'm the Walrus Jedi and welcome to another Clone Wars review. In today's video will be Season 2 Episodes 5 to 8 and they are named Landing at Point Rain, Weapons Factory, Legacy of Terror, and Brain Invaders. Or you could call this basically the Second Battle of Geonosis arc. So if you like these Clone Wars videos and you would like to see more reviews in the future, please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell. There will be spoilers for these episodes, so consider that your warning. The cast of these episodes, Matt Lanter, Anakin Skywalker, Ashley Eckstein, Ahsoka Tano, James Arnold Taylor, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Brian George, Kiati Mundy, D. Bradley Baker is the clones, Tom Kane is the narrator, Yularen, and Yoda. Olivia Dabo is Luminara Unduli, T.C. Carson is Mace Windu, Ian Abercrombie is Chancellor Palpatine, Matthew Wood is the Battle Droids and Poggle the Lesser, Meredith Salinger is Barisafi, and Phil Lamar is Kit Fisto. Episode 5, Landing at Point Rain, which aired November 4th, 2009 on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Brian Callen O'Connell and written by Brian Larson. The moral is... Believe in yourself, or no one else will. The Republic sends a large invading force led by Jedi Generals Obi-Wan Kenobi, Kiyoti Mundi, and Anakin Skywalker. The enemy fire is heavy, causing Anakin and Kiyoti Mundi's forces to not make the landing zone. Obi-Wan gets to the landing zone and holds there till Skywalker and Mundi are able to arrive, although Obi-Wan is injured, and... Kiyadi Mundi basically has to trek quite a ways and, you know, dealing with Geonosians and all sorts of stuff. They then take out the shield protecting the factory, clearing the way to take out the factory. Episode 6, Weapons Factory, which aired November 13th, 2009 on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Giancarlo Volpe and written by Brian Larson. The moral is, no gift is more precious than trust. Anakin and Ahsoka are tasked with destroying the droid factory. Luminara Unduli and her apprentice, Barisafi, are sent as reinforcements. The two masters act as a distraction, while the Padawans sneak into the droid factory via the catacombs to blow it up. The Geonosians prevent the bombs from going off, but the two Padawans steal a special tank and destroy the generator taking out the factory, and they have to be dug out of the rubble, but are saved. 7. Legacy of Terror, aired November 20th, 2009, on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Stuart Lee and written by Eogan Mahoney. The moral is, sometimes, accepting help is harder than offering it. Having destroyed the droid factory, the Jedi now seek Poggle the Lesser. Luminara goes after him, but is captured. Obi-Wan and Anakin have to wait for a sandstorm to pass before following. They eventually follow Luminara, they go into the catacombs and run into zombie Geonosians. They avoid them and enter a large chamber where Luminara is the Geonosian queen's prisoner. She uses worms to control the dead Geonosians. The Jedi save Luminara, arrest Poggle the Lesser, and flee, destroying the chamber and crushing the queen. Episode 8, Brain Invaders, aired November 27th, 2009 on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Stuart Lee and written by Andrew Kreisberg. The moral is, attachment is not compassion. The two Padawans are sent to get medical supplies for Mace Windu on Dantooine. But the Geonosian brainworms infect some clones and they infect the rest of the ship. So it, it's basically just Ahsoka and Barris left, but Barris eventually does get infected as well. Anakin chokes Poggle the Lesser to learn how to stop the worms which ends up being the cold. He tells Ahsoka this, and she stops the worms, manages to save them all, and, uh, yeah, they arrive at the medical station, and, uh, yeah. What I liked for Landing at Point Rain, this is a episode that shows, you know, the actual clone war. We actually get to see some battle, which you actually do not see very much in the Clone Wars TV show, which I find weird, that there's actually not a whole lot of war in it so it's nice to see a little bit of a campaign so for weapons factory 
uh, exploring Geonosis, seeing more of it. It's a cool planet. And then Legacy of Terror, you learn more about the Geonosians, you know, the queen and all that. And then for Brain Invaders, uh, it's cool to see Kit Fisto again. I had forgotten how much Kit Fisto's actually in that episode. Because basically I just thought that he really was only in Lair of Grievous and then doesn't really do a whole lot. But no, he's, he's actually in this episode a little bit more. So for what I didn't like, there really isn't anything about these episodes that I didn't like that really comes to mind. So uh, yeah. overall, season two has been a good improvement over season one. Yeah. The rankings of these episodes are as follows. For Landing at Point Rain, 8.5. Weapon Factory, 6.5. Legacy of Terror is a 7. And Brain Invaders is a 6 out of 10. Well, those are the rankings. And uh, let me know what you thought of these episodes in the comments section down below. And uh, yeah, let me know which one is your favorite. And uh, right now you can watch my Season 2 episodes one to four review on the top left and on the bottom is the season one final the final four episodes review so you can take your pick there and uh yeah don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and until next time thanks for watching